Hi guys, my name is Teague. Uh, we were talking about these Bezier curves and uh, someone was mentioning that it might be interesting to see some other examples and like S curves and other stuff like that and I was bored today so alright let's do this. Um, I'm a visual effects artist. I used After Effects to build this rig. It's a series of expressions upon expressions um, but I'm gonna make the After Effects project available if anyone has After Effects and wants to mess with this themselves they can um, but let me show you how it worked anyway. So here's a basic curve uh, and I built it exactly the way he said it should work, and it worked the first time I tried it, so that's that's cool. I mean, I, I, I didn't know this is how Bezier's were built, but it's, it's interesting that that's the, the math to it. It actually reminds me of, um, of Fourier transforms, uh, but you'll, you'll sort of understand why in a little bit. But let's do, a, uh, let's do an S-curve here, and I'll show you how this, this setup works in case you want to use it. Um, the only trick with, uh, with how this is built, uh, it's, it, it lists the instructions along the way as you go, uh, is that in After Effects, it's actually very hard to ask for the coordinates of the handles of the Beziers, so you lose those. So the way I tend to do it is I'll, I'll build it out like this, where I move this over here, and I know that that's where that dot goes, uh, and vaguely just sort of grab this little red dude over here and put him where that red dot was, ish. Uh, and I'll do the same thing with this side over here. Let's make it a nice gnarly S there. And that dot's right about there. I'm gonna it's going to go away, but I, I sort of remember it was, put it generally in that zone, and then I go ahead and, you know, specifically put that dot right on the center of the thingy. You can do this the other way around, like build the curve and then place the dots where the handles go, but it's just, it's a pain, because After Effects hides those handles the second you click on anything else, so I found it's, it's easier just to kind of make a guess, then do a second guess, and you go into the second comp here, and you just place the uh, cage on the dots. The point of those dots in the first place was so that you could do this. Uh, once you've got this step done, it does all the work for you, builds it, and you can check your results immediately. So I got that like this, it's all set up, and we just go right over to the render, and let's watch it do its thing on a uh, S-shaped Bezier. Here we go. Like I said, I'll be making this project available in uh, After Effects uh, 12.0 and also a CSX version, a CS6 version if you want to mess with it. I don't know if anyone is an After Effects user or cares, but you know, I spent a few hours making it, so I might as well make it available for people to mess with. But that's what it looks like when you uh, when you have an S form in this Bezier. And that's where I was saying it looks like a Fourier transform, just the way that the sort of weird additive uh, sort of aggregate movement of multiple things moving at once. Uh, before I let you go, uh, on, the, on the assumption that most of you don't want to mess with this in After Effects or don't have After Effects, I uh, cooked up a couple other ones just so you can see more examples. This one's pretty similar to the, to the S we just did. Got this guy right here. This is a cool one. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Cool, huh? And uh, the last one that I sort of pre-built is this. Which is actually the least interesting of all of them. Sorry. <laughs> like deflating end moment here. But yeah, that's I guess how Bezier's work. I didn't know. Uh, it was news to me as well. But that would be the answer to Cy Godi's question about what would these look like in other shapes? Uh, the same. Looks exactly like that. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and save these After Effects projects out and make them available. They're going to be in the description of this YouTube video. They're below. So if you want to download it and mess with it, uh, do the thing. One quick note, uh, and if you're not going to be an After Effects person, you can leave. This is just an After Effects thing. Be aware, I when I first built this, it didn't work. Um, I said it worked on the first try. It worked on curves like this uh, on the first try. But... When I did the S thing, it didn't. And the mistake I made was I used that handle instead of it up this way, where, now let me just go ahead and drop this over here. Bear in mind, this is, when I curve it like this, it did the right result. But when I did it like this, it didn't. Because this handle over here 
is not the right handle for all that math, right? What you end up with is something that looks like this, which it's fascinating, but it's not the right thing. Um, so if you find yourself in a situation where your results look like this, look at that. We actually just accidentally invented the Star Trek emblem. Weird. Um, the answer to your problem is probably to, instead of putting that red dot over here, uh, put that red dot on the other side, or blue, whichever one you know it ends up being. But if you do that, then it builds correctly, and Bob's your uncle. By the way, the closer you are to nailing the center, uh, the more accurate the stroke overlay will be. I drag this over to there, and all of a sudden, this will work. Boop, boop, boop. Ta-da. Yep, and that's the only troubleshooting that should be required for anyone using this if you want to use it. Have fun.